In the previous video, I showed how to do a quick and dirty UV using polygroups and masks. In this video, I'm gonna show how to export your underscore low and underscore high models and then bake them. So we're starting out in ZBrush where we're gonna export our models. So we're going to Z plugin, FBX, export import, uh, visible subtool. So turn on the low subtool and turn off the high. You want them to be separate files then export, and you do want S normals for soft normals. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pick a place. So here is the actual exporter. So tutorials 3D, uh, egg monster underscore low, that's important. It's also useful so that you understand what it is. And then you can hit save. So that is the model that will actually be used in whatever project you're working on. And now we're going to export the high model. So turn off the low, turn on the high. You can select it just so like visually you understand which one's visible. Then you can go to Z plugin, export, and then it will it should populate the name. So egg monster underscore high. So we'll export that. The, the high usually takes a few seconds. Sometimes you click on it, it's like frozen. So you can see here it's frozen. That's normal. So it, it might seem like it exported quickly, but you, yeah, you'll know when it's done because a little pop-up will pop up and say file exported. Okay, so now that that's exported, we can go jump into Substance Painter. Now we are in Substance Painter, so we will go to File, New to import our model. And then you just go to where, to where it says File, click on Select, and we're going to import our low. We're going to open that. Uh, it's, it, it usually defaults to 4K resolution, but you can put it down to two if you want, or you can leave it at four. And then I'm just going to hit OK. So you will now see our UV as well as the object. Uh, you can hit F1 and F2. F1 shows the UV, F2 just has the actual model itself. So we can paint on this. So what we're going to do is actually go ahead and bake this. So go to texture set settings and go to bake mesh maps. And you can see here, it's going to want to do all these things. Uh, for the case of this video, I'm just going to turn, here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn everything off. Cause this is a lot, it's, especially if this is your first bake. Uh, Cause I remember first seeing this and I was like, what is all this? Uh, we just want a normal, we want AO, that's it for our first bake. And then we'll put this at 2K, doesn't really matter. Uh, and then you want to use an actual file. So you need your HD file. It's your underscore high file. Select that, open that. And then this is extremely important. For this, you want to match by mesh name. And you can see here, it's looking for the underscore high, underscore low. And now let's bake this and let's see what result we get. Because we'll probably have to fine tune some things. So it's just going through the process of baking this. Might take a minute. Usually there's some, there it goes. Yeah, I was about to say, usually there's some faster progress, but. <laughs> All right, so let's see, let's analyze analyze the results let's check it out let's see if we lost looks like we kept most of our detail from the hd model so this is the big upside of baking you have a low poly model so if i click on this you can actually see the polys so it's very low poly i mean 6k it could be way lower for what it is Generally, like this could be much lower, but 6K is significantly lower than what, what we started at. And now we have our bake. And you can actually see the bake here. You can actually delete these if you want. You can always undo deleting them. Uh, but now we just have this detail. So if we want to like add like a fill color or something like that. Maybe make this guy red turn down the roughness so we can look at the shapes and the, the bake details. 
sometimes you get a weird you get weird artifacts that's pretty common in baking but sometimes you get lucky and just get a really good bake so we basically got the result we want so that's the bake so we imported the thing used bake mesh maps and yeah that's it got a normal ao out of that so here's what it looked like before this is no bake that's with the bank. So same exact same model, just has new details now on the normal map and AO map. So pretty new, pretty useful, pretty nice. That's pretty much it for this one. Just a quick little baking in Substance Painter video. I'm about to do a in, an introduction to Substance Painter video where I go over uh, layers, fills, painting, uh, the materials, all this other stuff. So definitely check that out once it's live. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this or found this useful. And I will see you in the next one.